Yay! Let's start the next episode! Ah, fuck. Okay, so time passes as you wait in the crypt. As the girls scream, you start to realise something. That you're in a crypt that could possibly kill you? Okay, this is a little scary. Oh! But what if it's not real? What if it's some stupid eater joke? You hear something from the coffin again. Look in it! A mama. Look in the coffin! That sounds like a guy's voice, sort of. Oh, I know what they've done. They've put a guy in there, and then told him to act like some crazy zombie. That's probably just a frat brother goofing off. So you take a deep breath, think of it as a game, go back to the other girls, and wait. No! Look inside, you stupid twat! There's no use worrying about something you don't understand. The cappers leave you in there for a long time. The entire night, to be exact. You spend it trying to sleep while the other girls gap. You end up knowing entirely too much about er everybody's love life. At 6 a.m., the crypt door opens. Standing there, smiling is prissy. Did you lazy ladies have a nice rest? Early morning light fills the tomb you can finally see. It doesn't look so bad. You didn't look in the coffin, you cow! Oh my god. Looks like everyone is okay and accounted for. You all passed the test of bravery and have proven that you are eater material. Oh, Nicole joined us. Woohoo! Totally wasn't, like, even scared at all. Oh. Shut up! You can shove that common top of your ass. I saw you cowering in the corner. Didn't that girl run away scared last night? Yeah, you. Yeah, she did actually. When I did my over, when I did my overnight, I swear there was something in that coffin moving. Maybe Courtney does have, does have that effect on people. This whole thing is corny and manipulative. Putting a frat brother in a coffin to move around is kind of lame. But wait, she shut the door. If he's still in there, how does he? How did he get there? And how does he get out? Okay, girls, time for Thursday classes. Go clean yourself up, you're late. Get your learning on. The girls start scurrying off to class, leaving you alone for the moment. Something is a little off here. That guy had to go somewhere. I'm really curious. Yeah, we'll stay and investigate. Let's get Nancy Drew all up in here. I don't know who Nancy Drew is. I should wait for everyone to leave first. Hide behind a tree or something. You wait until all the girls leave. You kill time pretending to tie your shoe. Yawn. The old no go ahead. I'm just tying my shoe trick. Finally, the last one is gone. The place isn't so bad with a little sunlight. The smell out of it leads a lot to be desired. Okay, let's snoop around that crypt. Look in the coffin, you cow. Alright? You walk towards the coffin, live is only delivered, and nothing? Doesn't make any sense, I had to go somewhere. They did indeed have to go somewhere. Do you continue to look for this invisible person? I had to glass. A few more minutes couldn't hurt. I'm late as it is. But with you, a few more minutes usually these so now I was you continue looking. Your foot hits something, it feels like a ledge. No, it's a step. You kick it to make sure it's sturdy. I saw that in a movie once. Did you? You press on the step. It gives in and the coffin mechanically moves away to reveal a hidden door. Well, this you had to go see what is behind it. There's a tunnel behind the door. You follow it. Follow the tunnel, Maya! There's a door. Ooh. These tunnels look like they're map out canvas. Canvas. I wonder if moles go to college mm. down. Fuck me! Sorry, it's just my boyfriend messaging me. There could be an entire mole university. 
After walking for several minutes, you come to a section with several wooden doors. Oh, is this going to be Alice in Wonderland all over again? Alright, look for a bottle. If it says drink me, don't do it until you get the key. I wonder if these tunnels can go anywhere on campus. Pull at one of the doors. Of course they're locked. Just when I think things can't get any weirder as they do. With everything I learn about Lockwood, I feel like I'm digging myself deeper and deeper into, the ho into a hole. It's ended there, isn't it? Freaking knew it. No, I want to start another one. We're starting another one. Oh, the right. No! Come back on, you stupid thing. There we go. This is bizarre. No! Oh, there we go. This is bizarre. Eta has access to a crypt handles that are under the entire university. They also know how much the parents of each girl make a year. I feel like I'm dealing with with the Prada wearing a lunacy here. Whatever is going on, they have more access to the school than the sorority should. Sororities are supposed to have bake sales, not underground villages. I think that's supposed to be a joke. It's weird, I have to figure this out. Yes you do, Maya. Yes you do. You decide to walk to the Greek office, not the geek <laughs> office. Then maybe they will have some answers. That Karen woman probably won't answer my questions, but I can at least ask. While waiting, lost in thought, you bump into... You bump into Emily. Hi, Emily! It's a good thing my massively large glasses were protecting me from the impact of that hit. I think she's being sarcastic. That was sarcasm. Emily, wait. About the other day with Nicole. You mean your little sociology experiment? I just want to apologise. What exactly? I'm sorry, I don't do well with generals. Apology isn't going well. Nicole said some pretty horrible things to you, and I let her. That was really crappy of me. It wasn't smart or a kind thing to do. No, smart people don't need to feel better about their intelligence by knocking others. Smart people will so use better things. After some time, you decide to go to the Greek office, not the geek office. <laughs> yeah, she does exist. Hi, Karen, I'm Maya. Yeah, I know who you are. What's going on? Just want to ask you some questions. Okay, ask them. She's not very friendly. I was wondering why Eta has private information about students. Karen doesn't respond. You go on. Parents, financial records, things like that. Karen takes a long pause. Something is off. It's a standard practice. I wouldn't worry about it. Happy Hell Week. But that doesn't make any sense. I told you it's standard practice. Our authorities need to know just who they are letting in. Maybe I should ask her about the whole legacy thing? Hey, Karen. Sororities think I'm a legacy and I'm not. It's weird, do you think there was another error on my paper or something? Karen looks at you for a long time. She says some. she starts to say something and stops. You wait. I have to go. What? What about... I forgot something at home, I have to close the office. It was lovely speaking with you. And with that, she kicks you out of the office and slams the door shut. Karen, I have another question for you. You're a vertical encyclopedia, good brown, aren't you? I was wondering if you knew anything about the tunnels running underneath the campus. What are you talking about? I was in Livingston Cemetery and I went, wait, 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 were you trespassing on private property? No, no, it's just an urban legend I heard. Just girls talking, you know? Like there are really tunnels underneath the campus, ha. Huh? I'm not best at covering. Because if you were to go on private area, I'd have to notify campus police. Oh, shit. I wasn't, and I won't. Good, so we're clear. Um, yeah, we're clear. And with that, you leave. Is there any something up with that lady? Yeah, she looks like Marilyn Monroe. Except without the beauty spot. You get back to your room, and your brain is racing. Tunnels, coffins, corpses, and it's not even the afternoon. What do you do next? Think. What did you do? Ask about the tunnels. Don't you dare come into my room. Okay. 
but he knows something. They've ended it here. Yep. Alright. Bastards.